What's up everybody, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change your UI color. So for example, if you change your UI color to black, it'll change your entirety of your UI to black. If you change it to green, it'll change your entire of your UI to green. If you change it to red, it will also change the UI to red. If you change it to orange, it will also change the entire UI to orange. So yes, that's how it works. So before we start, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on and let's jump right into it. Now, I have not made a Roblox Studio video in a really long time. The last time I did it was June 2023. I believe it was around June or July, I forgot. But if you haven't checked that out, make sure to go ahead and check that out. And also make sure to go out and check out our Roblox Studio tutorial playlist that I made on YouTube. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get the GUI set up. Alright guys, so I have the UI uh, set up already, so let's go ahead and get started with the scripting. So first, let's go ahead and start with black. So first, I'm going to go ahead and insert a local script. So first, we're going to do is, we're going to do local variable, then we're going to do equals script dot parent dot parent then we're going to do local settings then we're going to do script dot parent dot parent dot parent so three parents for this one then we're going to do local gui then it's script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent so it's technically four now so next is local settings button then we're going to do GUI, no, 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 not game, GUI.settings button. All right. Now next is local settings text. Then we're going to do um, local, hang on, it's called settings.settings text. So let me make sure this is like, make sure it's matching, make sure uh, it's matched or else we'll have an error. So next is you want to put in local UI color. Wait, let me make sure it's spelled correctly. Okay, so there's a capital I in here. Next is settings dot UI color. So now we have to do um, script dot parent. Then you want to type in mouse button one click. Then you want to do a colon. Then you want to type connect. And then you want to put in function. And then you want to put in the parentheses. Then we're going to do variable dot color um color background color three equals color three dot from rgb then you want to select what color you want so for black we will select black so it's right here zero 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 and you want to do basically the same thing um but we're going to do settings dot background color three equals color three dot from rgb then you want to put in like what the color code is for black then you want to do the same thing for the settings button dot background color three equals color three dot from rgb then you want to put in same thing for the settings button and now we're going to move on to the text so for this we're going to put settings text then you want to type in text color text color three all right then you want to do color three dot from rgb and since it's black we'll change the color of the text to white so um because if it's if the text color is black you really can't see the text so you want to do the same thing for ui color then you want to do top text color three then you want to do equal color three dot from rgb you want to do the same thing for that and also same thing for the settings button uh, text color three, same thing, color three dot from RGB, and then you want to put white. So let's go ahead and test that out. And if it does work, we will do the same for blue, green, red, etc. All right, so let's test out. Boom! You can see the UI color changes to black, but there's one problem it's blending. So um, we need to make something like we need to make a UI stroke that can like prevent the blending from happening. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go and looks like we already have a UI stroke. So for black color, I'm just going to put gray um, specific particularly because you know, um, um, you know, we like, look, yeah, you can see the black 
the UI stroke is like you can see the 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 button like even when the UI is dark so um, you, you can also close the settings menu and let's go ahead and we're gonna script the blue color so let's go ahead and this is obviously gonna be the same thing for blue so all right guys so when we're scripting the blue it's basically the same exact thing as black but except we're changing the color of the 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 UI so same thing local variable equals script dot parent dot parent then we're gonna do local settings equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent then we're gonna do local GUI then it's gonna be script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent so it's gonna be four then we're gonna do local settings button then we're gonna do G G Y dot settings button and then we're gonna do settings text settings text then it's gonna be uh, settings dot settings text all right and then after that lastly we obviously have to do the UI color as well so local UI color then settings dot UI color all right now we're gonna do the same thing like we did last time script dot parent dot mouse button one click then you want to do colon connect function then you want to put parentheses then you want to do variable then you want to do color background color three then you want to do color three dot from RGB and then this time we're gonna do blue because we're changing the UI color to blue so um, and it's gonna be the same thing for settings and settings button so settings dot background color three equals color three dot from RGB and we're gonna do blue and then same thing for the settings button okay so background color three same exact thing here but it's just a different name and then we're gonna do blue and then now we're gonna move on to the text so the text is basically the same exact thing um, it's same color but when we move on to green yellow and white it's gonna be different so um, we're gonna do color three dot from RGB and then uh, white color same thing like we did with the black color um, UI color dot text color three equals color three dot from RGB and it's gonna be white then we're gonna do settings button dot text color three equals color three dot from RGB then we're gonna do white alright so let's go ahead and test this out so let's go ahead and press play and black and the blue okay so yeah so if you change it to black and then you change it to blue so this works so we've successfully done to the blue let's move on to wait what's next let's go ahead and let's move on to green all right guys so I just duplicated the script from the blue button so for green it's basically the same thing but we're gonna have to change a few stuff so you can see it's just local variable equals script dot parent it's basically the same exact thing but this time we're gonna change the color so this time it's gonna be green for pretty much you want to change all of these to green and then you also want to change the text color because if the green um if the text color is white in the green UI it you it's gonna be pretty hard to see so I recommend you change it to black so we're gonna go and change all of this to black and let's go ahead and test out the UI so hang on okay all right let's go ahead and test this out so you can see blue green black green yeah perfect it works so we now have a green color so let's go ahead and do the same thing for orange so um, as I said we're gonna duplicate the local script and we're gonna insert in here and this time uh, we actually have to um we're not gonna we're, we're gonna paste it from the black color blue color because orange you don't need to change the color so let's go ahead and go here and here we go so this time we're gonna change it to orange uh, boom boom and boom all right let's go ahead and press play and so we got blue green orange black orange perfect we did it 
So we've completed orange. Now we just need to do red, yellow, and white. All right, guys. So for the red color, it's basically the same exact code, but this time we're going to change the color to red. So we're going to do the same thing for red. The boom. Boom. And boom. All right. We got it all started. So let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go and go here. Blue, red, blue, red, green, orange, black, and yeah, that's basically it. So now we just need to test the yellow. We're going to script the yellow and the white color GUI. So, all right, so moving on to white, the code is the same exact thing for white, but except you have to change the, change the colors to white. So we're going to change it from like what green to white, boom. And yes, that will work. And we're going to do the same thing for yellow as well. So we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to go into yellow, and this is an old local script. And let's go ahead and go here, and we're going to change this to yellow. So after that, we should be good to go. And let's go ahead and turn on yellow, yellow. All right, so basically we have all the stuff all ready to go. So um, anyways, I'm going to actually um, hide the settings frame because, you know, um, normally when you play a game, the settings button doesn't show uh, when you first spawn it. So let's go ahead and press play. All right, so here we go. Here's the settings menu, and when you change it to blue, red, green, red, uh, blue, red, yellow, red, green, yellow, orange, black, white, white, black, orange, yellow, green, red. All right, yes, that is basically how the UI color thing works. So anyways, if you enjoyed my scripting tutorial video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe when notifications turn on, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!